Oh, okay, guys. So just to finish up these notes real fast. I uh, forgot, you know, for a second period, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you I'm not going to be here. But you can do it without me. All right. So this last thing that we're going to talk about is what's called a reference angle. All right. So a reference angle is the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. Ooh, that's a lot of vocabulary. So let's talk about it in this first example. In this first example, they tell me I have a degree measure of 675 degrees. So I go around once, and I go around twice. And they say that my reference angle is the angle from the terminal side. So my terminal side is this right here. Here's my terminal side. And the x-axis. Well, which x-axis? It's the one closest to. So you can even say it's the acute angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. So I'm looking for what this measurement right here is. And that will be my reference angle. Okay. So how do I go about finding that? Well, great question. So my way of finding this is that I can go ahead and say, hey, I have 675 degrees. Well, I can say, well, 675. If I take away 360, just like I've done before, to sit down there and get the uh, co-terminal angle. Take away 360, okay, I get uh, 5, 1, 3, 315 degrees. So that means from here to here is 315 degrees. Well, I don't want that. But what I do know is from the x-axis all the way over to the y-axis over here, I got 90, 90, and 90. So I can take away another 270 degrees. When I take away that 270 degrees, I'm left with 45. So the question is, what angle is 45 degrees? All I got all the way over to here, I have that is left over is 45 degrees. And now that I have that piece, I should be able to say, oh, hey, so what's my reference angle? Well, this one here is 90 degrees. 45, oh, 90 minus 45, this one also happens to be 45 degrees. And that's my reference angle. So the reference angle for this one is 45 degrees. Let's talk about this one. This one says I'm at a negative 100 degrees. So how did I get there? And what is my terminal one? My terminal, not my terminal, but my reference angle. My reference angle, again, is the acute angle between the terminal side. Again, here's my terminal side. And the x-axis, well, the acute angle is this piece right here. So this one's a little bit easier. You can go and say, hey, I know that half of a circle is 180 degrees. They tell me that this measure is 100 degrees. Going backwards. So what's left over? 80 degrees. Now, reference angles are always going to be positive, so you'd always just say 80 degrees, not a negative 80 degrees. And there you go. Excuse me. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and try these two. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do them for you, and you can take the notes for it. It's going to be too much to ask the, somebody to pause this video. So here we go. So again, I have five, negative 510 degrees. I need to find this reference, th this reference angle. Again, reference angle is the from the terminal side, the acute angle from the terminal side to the x-axis. That means I'm looking for what's left over here. So at a negative 510 degrees, I can see that, hey, I went around one whole time. So I can do a negative 510 and add 360. And when I do that, I get to a negative 
zero five one hundred and fifty degrees. So that means that this distance from here to here that's a negative one hundred and fifty degrees. Again, you'd be thinking, oh hey, that distance is negative one fifty, so what's left over over here? Thirty. And there's my reference angle. This one should be a lot easier. I'm not even going to do it. You should be able to see or talk about much. You should be able to say, hey, again, terminal side to x-axis. There's my angle, 150. What's left over? It's 30 degrees. There you go. So now let's talk about work, uh, work stuff. So the ones I'm going to ask you to do is you have your worksheet. I want you to do the worksheet 1 through 5, 16 through 20, and 26 through 30. Those 15 problems need to be done by tomorrow. And you have to watch, have to, have to, have to watch the video tonight. Have to. This video, we only have one day on this topic. I need you to watch this video. All right. Good luck, goodbye, and I wish you the best to do these uh, few problems. Again, write them down. Take a picture. It lasts longer.